Hey everybody, it's Darkman765, and welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went up here to Sprout Tower, and in and also got ourselves a nice new little friend if we go in here. There he is. It's our boy Boris. And in this episode, we're gonna go into Faulkner's Gym and get our first gym badge. Alright, let's go. I guess. I, I guess I already fought him. I don't I don't remember doing that. Uh, oh, I did, did I come in here at another time and fight those guys? I don't I don't remember. Let, I guess let's just talk to Faulkner and get get going on the get going on that badge. Oh. Oh. Anyway, all joking aside, in this episode, I guess I'm just- there's not much to do but just, like, continue on with, you know, the- the next route, but there is one stop I wanted to make first, so I'm gonna cut to when I've done that. And here we are back in Newbark Town. There is one very important thing I wanted to do here, uh, but it requires me to first go into my house. And I don't know which one that is. Uh... Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good, good to know. Good to know. This is not the house. This is going great so far. Uh, what, what's this? What, who's, this is Elm's house. Okay, so it must be the last choice. Sure. Yep, Crystal's house. I like how it's my house, you know? It's, it's not my mom's house. It's not anyone else's house. It's, it's, it's my house. All right. Hi, welcome home. You're trying very hard, I see. I kept your room tidy. Or is this about your money? Oh, mom. Yes, it is about my money. I want to change. Oh, crap. I meant to do no. I don't want her to save my money anymore. Although she will randomly buy me items, I don't think that's really that useful. And also, I'm just getting so little money. How, how much money do I have, actually? Um, how much money? <laughs> I have 6,000 bucks! I have 6,000 bucks. Wow. Okay. I, I had 63.63, so that's cool. Um, anyway, that's the only thing I wanted to do here in New Bark Town. I'm going to head back to uh, the B -B Violet City, and I'll meet you back there again. Er, okay. Alright, I, I have to know... I gotta know. It's been a while since this has happened. What What's it up to? Three. Three experience points to level up. Okay. Alright, we have returned here to Violet City, and I just remembered on my way back that uh, I didn't do whatever we could do in Dark Cave because I couldn't figure out the weird flash trick like the the ability to do the thing and I actually since recording that video I've remembered how to do it um, but now we actually have flash so it's not necessary but I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna get whatever that item is so the trick is to go into your Pokédex, and then for a very short period of time, you can actually see the, the the walls of the cave. However, we have Flash, and I have I've given this a little bit of thought. I do want to use Flash. I want to give it to someone who doesn't have a um, who, do, who doesn't have a. a bleh. I can't speak. A, an, an accuracy lowering thing, because because Flash will lower people's accuracy. And what I was thinking is, if useful is gonna be my like sort of status type thing, 
I could- Ooh, I don't want to get rid of Poison Powder or Confusion. Never mind. Well, I could get rid of String Shot. I've said it before, I've never seen a battle come down to who was faster. Well, I guess I have, because I've been in situations like that where it's like, Oh god, if I don't go first, I will lose, but... Eh! Still not worth... Still not worth the, uh, the... Still not worth the, you know, use of a move for speed, specifically. So I'm gonna get rid of String Shot. And learn Flash. Now let's go ahead and use that and light up Dark Cave. Flash. Look at that. And I just realized we can ride our bike in here. That's pretty neat. And also encounter enemies. This is also a good thing because, uh... Boris needs some more more experience, so I am obliged to uh, give him some. He, uh, he grew to level 9 on the way, but you probably already saw that. I probably cut back to it. And that Zubat is dead. <laughs> Man, I'm just remembering how, how upset I was at myself for not getting a Pokemon here. I could have had I could have had a Zubat earlier and I wouldn't have had to catch flaps so early. But you know what? Mistakes are made. We can only grow from those mistakes. We can only just pay more attention. That was a critical hit. A little bit overkill there, Boris. You could kill him in one hit anyway. Um yeah, so the only thing that we can do is just pick up this item. Uh unfortunately we don't have surf. Nor do I think I have a Pokemon that can use Surf. That might be a problem, because I'm pretty sure that is a required HM. Uh, cut. Oh, I also don't have a Cut user. So that would- that- that's something I need to- I need to put- put some thought into, is to- or maybe hopefully get. I need a Cut user. Oh, it's Leech Life! The most powerful move. I get it's supposed to be like a low level move, but like... Man, it's just so useless of a move. Who wants Leech Life? I don't want Leech Life. I don't think I can take out a Geodude with my boy Boris. So who am I gonna get to do? Buzzshock is a bug type. Is... Hold on, is Rock effective against... Bug? You know what? I don't even care if it is level 2. I'm not taking chances here. I am going to throw out... Get Down has... Get Down has a water move, right? Get Down has... No. Huh. Coward, do you have a move? You don't have a move. Okay. Hmm. You know what, I think Boris can survive one attack. Let's see what he can do. I'm, I'm actually curious of a level- Oh my god, that's- Oh my god, that's way more than I thought. Wow! Also, it only knows tackles, so it's not like it matters. Cool! And get a nice little chunk of experience there for that. And now let's head back to Violet City. Um, I guess I'll- I'll- it's right here, actually. I may as well just keep talking. Uh, so last episode, I, I have edited last episode, and oh my god, I I don't ever want to make that mistake again. So if anybody's seen the Chugga Conroy's video on how to let's play, the one biggest piece of advice he gave is always, always do a test recording prior to the recording to make sure that everything is set up right. And I didn't heed that advice, and the audio didn't record, and I was like, you know what? I can probably recreate the audio. So it started with me just adding in the music, and then I was like, I wonder if I can find the sound effects of this game. And I found a Japanese debug ROM patch. So I got the Japanese ROM, and I got the, the debug patch, I patched it, <sighs> and I recorded all the necessary sounds. It was a hell of a time. Like, it was... it was awful. Um... But it's all over now, the video is edited. We are on Route 37, this is a new route, and I can collect another Pokémon boy... Uh, how many Pokéballs do I have? I have six Pokéballs. I'm gonna run to the shop and buy more, 
and I'll cut back when I'm back. Alright, back here again in Route 37. I decided I'm just gonna buy a bunch of Pokeballs, so I just bought 15. Looking at how much money I have, I have so much- <gasps> Yes! Oh, I love Growlithe! Holy crap, it's actually pretty high level. That's- it's higher level than most of my Pokemon. That's good. Um, useful would be a bad idea. Uh, get down- oh no, it knows Roar, doesn't it? Oh god, this is a dilemma. I- oh man, so, here's my options. I can switch and hope it doesn't roar. Or, I can switch and hope it doesn't roar, in which case Boris survives and I have a chance to catch it. Or, I throw a Pokeball now, hope it catches, and if it doesn't hope Boris survives, I am- Oh god, I really want to Growlithe! Hmm... Okay, I'm gonna switch and hope it doesn't roar. Please don't roar. Please don't roar. Because roar makes you run away, right? No! No! Oh. No! I knew this would happen. I knew I should have thrown them Pokeball. I knew I knew this I knew this would happen. I knew this was gonna happen. But you know what? I don't care. Also. This is a pretty high level Pokemon that are just wild now. And looking at my team... Uh, yeah, Dicevino is the only one who's competent right now. I should probably do some training sometime soon. We got ourselves a spinner over there. I'm gonna go around these guys. Hmm... Did... Did he stop? Oh god, I feel bad now. I... okay. What do I want to do right now? Do I want to fight these guys? Do I want to take that risk? Gets Boris some more experience. What are they gonna have? Cause if they have something pretty bad, that would suck a whole lot. And they're expecting us to have to fight wild Pokemon at level 14. Which is very dangerous. So God. You can cut till I make a decision on what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna check what the wild Pokemon levels are like over here. And see what level these guys are at. Level 5. Obviously not what I wanted. Um, I w what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a place where the po wild Pokemon are less... Uh, less lower leveled than up there. See what I can... and, and then see what I can do for training, cause oh my god. I need some higher level. Oh, we can catch a Nidoran here. Nice. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to start training up all my Pokemon uh, over here. So, uh, I guess I'll just uh, cut to a to a training speed up. So I'll, I'll see you when I'm done that. It's gonna take a while, probably. Oh! 
Boris learned Hyper Fang. That's pretty good. I gotta, I gotta see what that's like in the next battle. Because uh, if I recall correctly, Hyper Fang is a really good move for this early on. Let's see it. Hyper Fang. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's real good. Up to this point, I've just been too afraid to send out Boris with all the Nidorans, but I think I think he can start taking them on on his own now. That's pretty good. Anyway, back back to the speed up. Alright, Boris grew to level 20, and you know what that means. He's trying to learn Focus Energy, which, if I'm not mistaken, makes it so that you have a higher critical hit chance? What moves do I have? I'm probably never gonna learn Tail Whip, or use Tail Whip, but that also means... It also means Boris is evolving! So, um, you may be wondering, why did I decide to go all the way to level 20? Uh, this is one of the reasons, and the other reason is because Pseudo Wudo was level 20. So if I get everyone to level 20, which is what I plan to do... Oh, he's trying to learn Scary Face. Um, I think that lowers defense? No, I don't want it. Anyway, I'm trying to get everyone to level 20, because I think that's a- I think that's just a good stopping point, because Pseudo Wudo was level 20, and I feel like if we're level 20, that's competent enough to continue on in the game. Uh, also, if you've been wondering why I've been uh, depositing and withdrawing Boris from the uh, PC, it's because... It's because depositing and, and withdrawing from the PC automatically heals them uh, and refills their PP, so uh, that's what I've been doing. Anyway, now that Boris is finally up to level 20, Time to do the other four! Yay!
and just one battle into training Buzzshock, he levels up and is a Beedrill now! Oh, this is exciting. That's two evolutions in a row, actually. That's... that's kind of rare. Oh, I really like that animation. That's cool. But we got a Beedrill now! Hooray! And learn Fury Attack. That's good. I like that. Wow, okay. Um, so I, I, I accidentally forgot to switch Buzzshock up front, and uh, I just decided to finish this battle as useful. Um, and he's learning Stun Spore, uh, which I believe paralyzes? Is, para is paralysis better than poison? Because poison does chip damage, but paralysis prevents moves. And obviously I, it won't let me get rid of Flash. Should I go for Stun Spore? See, Poison Powder is guaranteed poison. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use... I'm going to actually get rid of Poison Powder because if I encounter a Pokemon that can run away, I can uh, use Stun Spore on it and paralyze it and hope that it stays paralyzed and have a higher catch rate. So that's what I'm gonna do. I forgot to switch Budgetalk up front again. Anyway, back to, back to this crap. Buzzshock is also trying to learn Focus Energy. Hmm... I'll take Focus Energy over String Shot, yeah!
And with that, Buzzshock is the second Pokemon to make it to level 20, and he's trying to learn Twin Needle. I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty good. I feel like Harden might be useful though. I'm gonna get rid of Poison Sting, it hasn't really been doing me much use, and while it can poison, Fury Attack is just so much a better attack, I feel. Generally, Poison Sting doesn't do more than Fury Attack unless it's super effective. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Twin Needle. I'm gonna replace Poison Sting. I actually have no idea what it does. You know what? I know how to check now. Let's do that. Uh, move. Jabs the foe twice using Stingers. All right, it's a Bug type move, so that's good. It's uh got that same type attack bonus. Uh, anyway, um, I have three more Pokemon to go. That's fun. I'm gonna get useful next. Oh my god, Sleep Powder. I think Sleep Powder might be way better than Stun Spore. I might just get rid of Stun Spore for that. Um, yeah. 25% chance of not moving versus a 100% chance of not moving that wears off. I, I'll take it. Useful can learn Supersonic. I don't think I'm gonna go for it. Yes, having a, uh, an attack. I already have uh, Confusion, which is just Supersonic, but it doesn't always paralyze and it does damage. Or not paralyze, confuse. But I, I think that I'm not gonna go for Supersonic just because I think that I don't, I don't need it.
And Useful is now the third Pokemon to make it to level 20. That's exciting. And would you look at that, I only have two more Pokemon to go. Uh, oh boy. I've been recording for three hours. Oh boy. Oh, Coward's trying to learn Poison Powder. Interesting, I didn't know that he could. Um, sure, I'll, I mean, Splash is useless, so let's get rid of Splash. All right. And Coward is also attempting to learn Stun Spore, which, I mean, I guess it's, um, it's probably better than Tail Whip, I guess? I would prefer it over Tail Whip? I don't know. And Coward is now trying to learn Sleep Powder, which we already have. Oh god, what did I get rid of? Oh, I guess I forgot Poison Powder, oops. Uh, that was an accident, but I can probably live with that. So we're at level 18, and Coward is evolving! Look at that! Oh yeah, this is exciting! What is this? It's a skip Loom, I forgot what it was called momentarily. 
until I was reminded. That's pretty cool. That's exciting. Also, he's poisoned, so I'm gonna deposit him into the box to make him not poisoned, because that's how that works. Well, that's cool. Um, I really wish Coward would learn a move other than tackle, like an attacking move specifically, because this is, it's getting a little tiring, but what are you gonna do? It's something you gotta live with. And with that critical hit, Coward goes to level 20, meaning I only have one more to go. It has been hours. I'm hungry, but I'm committed. Let's-a-go. Oh crap, get down, learn confusion. This is gonna make things so much better for me. Tackle is not a very great move.
gonna do it. Are we out of the music? Can I finally stop playing this video game? Find out next turn on Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. It's the next turn. And we did it! Hooray! We are now level 20! Wow, I'm actually surprised at how few things the uh, Get Down learned, but we have done it. We have made it to level 20 as everybody. Dysphenoid and Boris were kind of my guys for uh, making sure that the other guys don't die horrible deaths unexpectedly. Um, so that's why they're a little bit higher leveled. But anyway, we made it out of there. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, one major thing I've noticed is that specifically Coward and Useful were a little bit worse in terms of their attacks, but their uh, status moves are very indispensable. Like, uh, using, uh, like, for example, Coward would, wasn't able to defeat a Hoot Hoot on his own because it had the chance of using Peck, which I didn't want to risk a critical hit, so I tried to keep above a certain threshold of health so that the risk of a critical was minimized. Although I never did get a critical hit. Um, so I tried to keep above that threshold, however, putting the Hoot Hoot to sleep meant that that wasn't a worry anymore, so that's... I'm definitely going to be using that a lot more in the future, but I'm feeling... I'm feeling much better about the team that we have now. Um, it's still not quite as balanced as I'd like. I would like a few more alternate typings, but I'm willing to deal with what we have until we get something better. Um, and so, like, I'm feeling really good. I, I was not expecting this to go as long as it did. I just kind of on a whim after getting Boris up to level... I was thinking of getting them every, everyone up to level 15, and I was like, ah, oh, that'll be enough. But then, when I got Boris to level 15, I was like, you know, Pseudo Wudo was level 20. Maybe I should get everyone to level 20. And then I just, I just went for it. And it took four or five hours, something like that. Anyway, uh, I went into this episode with one useful Pokemon, another normal type, who was the same type as the useful Pokemon, but way lower leveled, Two bug types who really didn't know enough to be useful. Something that barely could attack at all. And another thing that could barely attack at all but could hold his own in a battle. And now here we are with two really great attackers. Two really great status guys. Uh, a decent attacker with a little bit more type coverage. I mean, it's not much. It is bug and poison, but it's, it's something. And... Someone who can hold their own on a fight a little bit. They they have some pretty good defense. So I'm feeling I'm feeling much more confident with our team. I'm really sorry that this episode didn't end up having any progress, but I just decided to 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 basically commit the unsuckening. I decided halfway through the training that that would be the title of this video, the great unsuckening. And uh, yeah, I don't feel like I suck anymore. Um. Still does suck that we that we didn't get that Growlithe earlier, but you know what? I'm willing to deal with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. We'll have more chances to get other things later. The type coverage would be a lot more preferred, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, I came back here specifically because I realized that we haven't used the Bug Zone, this national park, as the outro theme yet, because every time we were here was an episode where there was a death, so we can actually have a nice, pleasant outro. If you like this video, rate, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, then don't. See you guys in the next episode where we finally make progress.